what's up YouTube um I wish you guys a lot of things in this video from my type of plants to my trees and uh, what I've been doing lately and what my I'm gonna talk about what my plans are from here on out um, short term so that's only the fall and the winter what I plan to do and I'm gonna start off with some trees that I, I haven't showed you guys in my other vids so here we go we're gonna start off with the chili moya tree So there's a chile moya tree. It's a nice fruit. Starting to get some growth. Here we have the guava tree. Up there now. Um, we have a, a fruit right here, guava. You guys can see that. <coughs> and um. Here we have some trumpets that two weeks ago we we pruned. My dad pruned them and uh, it's starting to grow back. You can see the cut right there and then the growth on the side. These trumpets are nice. Um, so yeah, they're just flowers. They grow like they look like a tree, but you know, I think it is a tree. I'm not really sure, but the flowers they they hang. Um, they look like trumpets. And there's more over there. Over here we have some the pepper plants. We added two new ones. Um, so the mustard have it's about ripe. Uh, the pecans are doing good. The mustard halves on this plant are starting to ripen. We have these uh chilies right here. These are um. It's like a, a tap-in picking hybrid. Uh, here are the black cobras. So those are doing good. I'm going to overwinter those. Uh, we have a uh, apple tree right here. Apples. We don't really eat these apples because um, they're not that good. Here's the Arayan tree. has a bunch of berries on it you can see right there yeah. um, pepper plants fatalis there all the all these peppers are starting to flower again but um I'm not really sure if they're gonna have enough time to produce anything because the cold weather is coming there's a flower the bujolokia grew a lot you can see bujolokia has a few buds, no flowers, but just the buds. Um, however, nose are doing good back there. Uh, the manzanas are doing really good. These are good. Um, these peppers are good for the cold weather. There's a flower right there. Um, cherry tree, it's trying to grow a bit um the pomegranate tree I planted it about two weeks ago doing good there's the guava tree I planted last week I didn't show you guys yet it's, it's a Mexican guava and then all the dirt I dug out from here you guys can see you guys can tell um, all the dirt I'm gonna throw away because it's not good dirt. I just have that left to throw away. And there's the wheelbarrow I'd be using to take it out. Here's like a guamuchi tree. Um, it's doing really good. It gives a gives a nice fruit. The other guava tree we have picks up the dirt a bit. Sorry guys if the the picture is pretty foggy my camera's acting up and then since last night it's been raining so sorry about that um, the cherry tree a lemon tree so yeah all this dirt around the trees I've been fixing up another lemon tree 
all my peppers. So I'm going to hibernation. Uh, there's seven peppers giving out these little peppers right here. You guys can see them. Little peppers. Mm, lemon bed buena is doing good. Giving me some more growth. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my our lime tree right there in the center. Um, yeah, this guy is loaded. There's a, a bunch of limes on this sucker. You can see, look how big they are. And there's one that fell today, and I have it right here. There it is. Look at it. Compared to the other ones, look at the size of it. It's a big sucker. And these are, this, that, these are the kind of limes that you use for lemonades and limeades and all that. These are the sweet ones. Tart and sour. So yeah, that's... Next year will give us way more. Um, right here we have a guava tree with a bunch of fruit on it. Uh, you guys can see it. Um, here's another one. Really nice fruit. Um, our mango tree starting to grow. Some more trumpets right here. And um, that pomegranate tree I planted in the front yard over there. Um, it came from this pomegranate tree up. Uh, this is a neighbor's pomegranate tree over here. You guys can see it. Um, I pulled off some pomegranates from there. These are it. This pomegranate is where I got the seed to germinate my pomegranate. So, yeah, these are big suckers. And then this one is the pomegranate tree we have in the backyard over there by the by the alley. And you can see the difference of the um, the color. See, this is the neighbors, which is the one I pla planted in the front yard that I germinated. And this is ours from the over there by the wall. Um, here's the one. Here's the same one from the neighbors that I opened. The seeds they get a little darker, but they're whitish, pinkish, with a red tip. And then we have the ours, which is ruby red. Really nice compared. So yeah. Pomegranates are giving out right now too. Also, we have uh, the Monsanto right here that is starting to go into hibernation. Um, so hopefully it could survive for a fourth year. And um, there's a pomegranate there in the tree. You guys can see it. That's our our great plant right there. It's just been there for like a year. And it didn't grow much. And here's our I lime key lime tree, loaded with limes just loaded with them we've had this since we moved here 15 years ago and the suckers loaded can't wait to get those our fig tree starting to grow a bit and I planted this one when I was about a foot tall two years ago um, or not another guava tree we've had this for a long time hasn't given us any though um, I don't see any, so maybe next year. Uh, nectarine. There's a little quad right there on the bottom. Another trumpet. Another trumpet. Um, another trumpet. Here's our Lima tree. Lima. It's like a um, it's well, it's a citrus, but it's it's a sweet, sweet um, sweet and bitter taste to it. Um, I don't have any that are ripe yet, but here's one. Here's another one. Uh, these guys grow probably the, almost the size of an orange, and they don't taste like an orange. They're like sweet and bitter. They have a unique taste. You see how big that tree is. We've had these these trees in the back. Um, this one for sure we've had since we moved here. The guava we've had since we moved here, and this other citrus tree we've had since we moved here. Um, this one gives out, I think, oranges. So, yeah. 
Actually, this one is the Lima tree, and that one's the orange. As you can see, it's starting to change colors a bit. They'll be ready in winter. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys to the back where we have our pomegranate. <clears throat> Here we have an avocado tree that we planted this year. It's trying to grow. There's pomegranates. You guys can see it hanging. Yeah, we've had the pomegranate for about 10 years now. <coughs> Uh, I'm going to take you guys back to the front so I can talk to you guys about my plans. Uh, so basically where I dug up all the dirt I'm pretty much going to throw out and I'm just going to put new dirt. I'm going to cover it with plastic and I'm going to plant onions, garlic, some cabbage, some broccoli, some cauliflower, some chives, all that good stuff and um, maybe some greens like some letters or something so yeah um, I'm gonna get this spot prepared in the next week or two and um yeah guys that's it for now so stay tuned for my next vid and uh, thanks for watching this one <laughs>